Welcome back to Ingson Christian Podcast. Welcome you, back, everybody. It's hey, episode yo. 30. Uh, today with a very, very special guest. Returning yeah. guest. Hey. Anton Kiko, hey. welcome back. It's, it's your boy. How you doing? Um, and yeah, today we're doing something very special. Very different. Uh, yes. Yeah, we'll, we'll get, get to it doing... in a second. Let's do the comments first. Uh, Let's not spoil it. Yeah, all right, all right. We're, we're, we're not going to spoil it. We're not going to yeah. spoil it. We'll have to announce what's Except this is like boomer stuff, so like I don't think anybody's going to get the words <laughs> made. <laughs> we're going to put fine. it in the title, dude. What do you mean to spoil? Um, all right, <laughs> so... Oh, dang, true. <laughs> <laughs> don't read the title. <laughs> don't look down. Yeah. So for the announcement... Our t-shirt raffle is still going, so please make sure you're subscribed. We're gonna pick a random subscriber from everybody who subscribed. A random subscriber, yes. Or free t-shirt. If you wanna avoid their t-shirt like the plague, unsubscribe right now, real quick. This is right. your last chance. The t-shirt <laughs> yeah. is coming for you. Yeah. It's at your door. It's right. gonna it's gonna come for you. It's coming. Okay. <laughs> Usually we have comment time kinda in the middle, but today we're just gonna get right into it. We've yes. got two juicy comments. Um, from some loving fans. Do not say juicy. <laughs> we're gonna keep juicy. Awful. Yeah. Some not, juicy comments. That's the yes. take we're going some, with. Some yeah, right. moist, some sp- dripping comments. Oh, oh. Lord. Demonetized. <laughs> Demonetized. <laughs> Alright, so, from Nikki. Love the podcast. Keep up the good work. Oh, nice. And, what are your thoughts on lo-fi? Oh, oh, dude, lo-fi is just, like, great for, like, in the background when you're oh, studying. Oh, definitely, yeah. That's what it is. That's the point of lo-fi. Well, for me, it was a phase, in a way. <laughs> because, like, I used to just only listen to lo-fi, but, like, now I'm branching off, obviously. Mm. Anton's, the, like, remember in class, and the teacher's like, you want to hear music? Anton's always the guy who's like, lo-fi! I mean, I try to get him to play Vaporwave, but everyone's too vapor much wave. of a normie for Vaporwave. I, so I, I guess we'll play lo-fi. I lo-fi. like Vaporwave. Lo-fi, lo-fi is, is just for people who are too weak for Vaporwave. I'm sorry. I, <laughs> I, I love lo-fi. Like, I've been listening to it constantly since 2017, like, just all the time. Yeah, before mm-hmm. it was cool. And SoundCloud, SoundCloud is the place to go. Like, definitely. It's, it's great. Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, so, yeah, lo- lo-fi, thumbs up. Lo-fi thumbs up. is weak vaporwave. That's a great uh, take. Now for yeah. our second and last comment. All right. Oh, dang, it's my favorite person, JJ. <laughs> God. Ooh, baby. <laughs> Hey, hey, totally not high. Also, the cafeteria plays were better because you were closer to the actors and the sets, believe it or not. Mm-hmm. Looked better in the smaller setting. Dang, wow, okay. I didn't think this day would come, but we agree. Really? Yeah. Wow. This what? is a good take. Wow. This is the good take of the day. You, uh, um, okay, uh, why do you agree, Anton? I'm, I'm Just curious. because, like, it was, it was more like personal experience right. and you could see the faces better. And also, it was less of a pain. It, like, just the, the plays in the cafeteria were better. I feel like when Youngford got obsessed with the big stage and went, went like, oh, we gotta do the big stage, like all the good plays, he kind of ruined it a little bit. I mean, bit. big stages are like, you get more of like a vibe from big stages. Right. It's nice that you have more space. Yeah. But also like, when we had the very limited space, we were like learning to work around it and it was a creative challenge. Yeah. That right. was like, I don't think that was a real issue. Um, I think one thing that would be better is actually the sound because, like, you know, yeah. they, they don't have microphones on stage, and a lot of the time you can barely hear what they're saying. That's also true. And so, you know, I'm sure that in the smaller stage, when you're actually there, not yeah. only do you see their expressions, but also they're just a lot louder, and you can yeah. actually hear everything. Oh, yeah, you weren't here for any of that? Yeah, I was. I, Dude, these are like the old days. I wasn't yeah. even... I, I agree with what Chuck's. I remember for Scrooge, like, we'd have to get everybody who doesn't project enough to be, like, loud, and they still weren't loud. I mm. remember that. Yeah. And, like, yeah. what if what if you have a scene where you're supposed to be, like, quiet, but you're still, like, yelling just so that everybody can hear yeah, it? Yeah, they should yeah. at least have mics or something. I remember during the Shakespeare one, I would constantly run to the kitchen and be like, hey, I'm in the play, can I have some kimbap? And they were just giving me a roll. You did! Why? Yeah. And I would just sneak off into the library with it, and I just got a ton of freaking. I remember you, as I saw you, I'm like... This guy. <laughs> this guy thinks hey, he's so you gotta, cool. you gotta do what Just you gotta do. Just because he played Fabian in a Shakespeare play. Hey, Fabian was the most underrated character. <laughs> no. <laughs> remember the apple bit? Oh, I remember the apple bit. Basically, they like... God, so they... <laughs> I was supposed to... I had a scene where I like ate an apple and then I threw it away. Yeah, like I right. chomped it and then I threw it on the ground. It fell next to JJ. So JJ took a bite and passed it to another person. Oh, and that person goodness. also took a oh, bite. Of course. And another person. And then by the end of the scene, the apple comes back to me. Wow. And I know where it's been, but I'm also like, if I don't take a bite right now, yeah. I'm killing the joke. And so I just chomp into it, and I, like, glare into the audience. Wow. <laughs> and it was painful, but legendary. It was wow. so worth. Wow. It was so worth. The good old days. 
Oh, we're never gonna get back. It's never coming. Before back. it went mainstream. <laughs> right. <laughs> went yeah. mainstream. Uh, before, cool. before the Hinkson plays sold out. When did exactly. when did Hinkson plays come mainstream? <laughs> <laughs> Bro. Uh, all right. So I guess let's start. So today we are playing some Dungeons and Dragons. Oh boy. You may have heard of Dungeons and Dragons because it is referenced very commonly in all sorts of things. Yes. It was all the rage back in the '90s and '80s. But effectively. Dungeons and Dragons is a collective storytelling game. Um, one player, the Dungeon Master, establishes a situation, and a world, and a story, and the other players play characters in that story, and they describe how they respond to each situation. And then there's a system of different dice and different stats, kind of like in an RPG, which decide if their responses and their ideas succeed or fail. Um, today I will be your Dungeon Master, Cool. And I've written a very short little snippet. We were we were initially going to do a larger campaign with a more full developed story. Right. But we we sorely underestimated the time of that. Yeah. How that yeah. how much that would take. Um. So we are playing that on our own time. Um. And it's the same characters. It's a similar setting. Right. But we are. I think so far we've done two <coughs> sessions. Yeah. We yes. had a two and a half hour session. Yeah. And, uh, like, five-hour session. So, like, <laughs> these things take forever. So a short story is, like, an hour. And we're, like, two-thirds <laughs> of the way through. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. So we'll finish. So, yeah, this is just going to be one little snippet. Yeah. Uh, apologies ahead of time for it not being too complete. But I hope you like it. I hope it's interesting. Cool. Uh, let's get right into it, I guess. All right. Cool. Sweet. Yeah. <clears throat> Our tale takes place in Moscovia, a sprawling metropolis on the bank of a river. Moscovia is populated by many strange and magical creatures, like dwarves, elves, orcs, dragonborn, and many, many others. It was not always this way. It used to be a rather boring city, filled with humans commuting to work in their automobiles, calling each other on their cell phones. But, in 2014, a law was passed, which allowed wizards to set up their businesses in the city. And after that, all sorts of strange and wondrous creatures flooded to the city to find work. Magic, after all, is a wonderful thing, and everyone knows all wonderful things are very profitable. Something that few people know, however, is that all profitable things can sometimes be very dangerous. Magic is an unpredictable force of nature, and very often it can have very unexpected destructive consequences. Monstrous creatures springing forth from nothingness, jets of flame spouting from everyday items, children falling into other dimensions. Magic backfiring is pretty rare, but just common enough to put fear into people's hearts. To fight this fear and the threats that cause it, a new profession was created, the adventurer. Adventurers are valiant heroes who train to fight various magical monsters and anomalies, as well as anyone who would seek to use the power of magic for evil. Like any heroic and dangerous job, children became obsessed with adventuring and anything related to it. The most famous adventurers have toys based on them, comic books and cartoons written about their adventures, and often visit children in schools to inspire them to be the heroes of tomorrow. Ask any child in Moscovia who they wish to be when they grow up, and they will answer with a grin, an adventurer. Luckily for them, many schools across the city have started programs and curriculums to raise the adventurers of the future, and they're all looking for gifted students. Our story takes place at one such school, Hankerson's Adventuring Academy. A fairly small building tucked away in a quiet neighborhood. The building's medieval-style architecture clashes with the Soviet apartment buildings around it. It is fairly early in the school year. The leaves on the city's trees are still green, and the fading warmth of summer is still in the air. The school is having its annual picnic. The last few participants of the 5K are filing in through the gates, and everyone is settling down in different corners of the schoolyard to have their hot dogs, burgers, and chips. Our first hero, Churly Freckle, is a half-elf, mm -hmm. and at this school, he is attending bard classes. Bards are magicians who cast their spells through music and other art. Churly, please tell us, what are you doing during this picnic? Uh, I'm just chilling. I'm, I've got a speaker playing some lo-fi. Right. You know how much this I love lo-fi. <clears throat> yeah. I'm kind of just like in the corner, you know, not really talking to people. I'm, I'm in my world. Right. I got like a, like a drink and I'm mm -hmm. just like having a sandwich. It's, oh, yeah. it's good. Good vibes. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> While Churly is busy with that, we cut over to our second hero, 
Simon with a P. What's a P? Get it right. It, it's, it's spelled P S Y M O N. Yes. My psychic powers. He, he came up with that himself. Yes, he is a Kenku, and he's also a wizard. Wizards learn to control the fabric of the universe through years of intensive studying, and Simon is in his senior year, so he is very close to being a certified real wizard. What is Simon doing at today's picnic? I'm like messing around with some flames and like making it twirl around in the air and pressing people because it looks kind of neat. <laughs> nice. That's cool. Um, also, just a real quick note. Um, Kenku do not have their own voices. They can only speak through imitating voices they have heard before. So if Simon um, changes character voice in the middle of the podcast, it's because of that. I don't have <laughs> yes. a voice. I'm edgy as heck. Um, <laughs> so we leave Simon to his fire tricks, and mm -hmm. we cut over to our last hero, who is quite a character. Yes. He is a bright yellow, two-foot-tall, blue-eyed lizard. <laughs> this is Momo the Kobold, and he is attending Hankerson's in hopes of becoming a rogue. Rogues are experts at sneaking around and striking their enemies when they least expect it. And Momo is top of his class. Strapped to his tiny lizard body, he carries a short bow, a rapier, and two shiny daggers. What is Momo doing during the school picnic? Yeah, so, like, I'm, I'm, I'm a bushwhacker. And to really, to You're really... You're not a bushwhacker. You're not a Wait. bushwhacker. Did you mispronounce swashbuckler? He's a swashbuckler, which is... Swashbuckler. A kind of rogue who's kind of like a pirate. Yes. And you focus on... Wait, wait. Bushwhacker and swashbuckler? <laughs> it's, it's, it's... He's a of... slayer of bushes. Uh, yes. Fear him. He, so, he has yeah. proficiency in bush killing. <laughs> yes. No, so, no, no. Okay. So, what is our rogue buddy doing during the picnic? So... I'm an aspiring rogue pirate, and obviously in this picnic, I'm in a plastic water pool, and I am practicing my swimming lessons by myself, <laughs> but, you know, it's cool, because I got this short bow on me, and I'm, like, I'm, like, swimming in the out. water. In the water, yeah. <laughs> are, are your weapons on your body, or, like, oh, next yeah. to the pool? They're on my body, of course. <laughs> Pirate, dude. And, yeah. you're, and you're swimming like that. Oh, yes, definitely. That is some impressive strength. I'm getting used to the Just, the Just make sea. sure they don't, like... You know... Rust. Rust, exactly. Yeah, okay. <laughs> anyway. Suddenly, the picnic activities are interrupted by a deafening roar. The crowd turns to its source, the school rooftop, and they see a dragon perched atop it. The dragon is fairly small, about the size of a car, and its body looks black and crackled, wreathed in a dim orange glow. Um, the three of you realize that this is a baby flame dragon. It's and though they cute. are though they are small, yeah. they are known for being quite ferocious. Oh. <laughs> it swoops down to the grassy area behind the school. The crowd scatters in panic, but one kid doesn't have time to get out of the way. You see a small goblin child, probably from one of the middle school classes, pinned under the dragon's claw. Oh no. Oh my god. A second roar echoes from the roof, and a second dragon flies down, landing what? next to the first. From its back, you see a figure hop to the ground. The figure wears a long, hooded cloak, and has a mask covering his face. Um, the mask looks like one of those theater masks where one half of it is laughing and one half of it is crying. Uh -huh. Right. Mm. Yeah. Um, yeah. Edgy. And it also has just a bunch of daggers all around his waist. Whoa, Ooh. that's it has just really edgy. a belt full of daggers. Okay. Um, I like it. The crowd stands and stares in shock, but no one dares to step up and interfere. The kid being pinned by the dragon is crying loudly. What do you do? Oh my goodness. Okay, okay, okay. okay. This is very, uh... Okay. Keep I mean, calm, keep yeah. calm. Yeah. Okay, they're right. fire dragons, right? Yeah, okay. That probably means they don't like ice very much. <laughs> yeah, I like that idea. Oh so my, I, if I, you're going to fight, then we're just going to roll with the initiative order. We need to get rid of the dragon holding the yeah, kid. I, yeah, we, right. we need to focus on the kid, because he's the person... The kid's in danger! Um, also, All right. are, are y'all in the same kind of part of the schoolyard? Because the way y'all described it didn't sound like that. So oh, okay. y'all are either. I, I just run to my friends because I kind of like, picture okay. in like the front of the school. Mm -hmm. Okay, so all three of you are in the same area. Okay, okay. 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 so you can yeah. talk to each other. Yeah. Okay. Um, so if you're gonna start, yeah, yeah. So normally this is right before a fight. We would be rolling initiative, which but, decides right. which character goes first in the right. order. Um, we did this ahead of time to save time because it is tedious. Um, Momo goes first. Yes. What will you be doing? My logical step as a lizard rogue, <laughs> is to get that dragon off from the kid and save the kid's life. Okay. So are you just attacking, or are you specifically focusing on like trying to push the claw off him, or...? 
Hmm. Slice off the armor mats holding the kid down. Oh my god, that's the right move. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to go for an attack. Okay. I'm going to attack this this fire dragon. You're on up and you swing your rapier, I assume, or yes, my rapier. You pull out your rapier and you swing it at the dragon's leg, Ooh. Ooh. and yeah. um, you add plus seven to that. Oh, oh uh, wait. so nine okay. plus seven, that is sixteen. That is sixteen. Um, that does not clear the dragon's AC. Oh, so you stab your rapier into the dragon's leg, but it doesn't quite pierce the scales. The scales Ooh. are like kind of Pretty these strong. rocky magma scales. Wow. Okay. Huh. And your sword bounces off. Wow. And now you're standing right under this dragon, right next to this kid, and the kid okay. is kind of just staring up at you. Yeah. Still kind of teary-eyed. Okay. And now it is Churley's turn. Go back oh, to this kid. Okay, so, um, now I'm worried for the kid yeah. and Momo. <laughs> so I think I'm just gonna, you know, do basically the same thing. I'm you're think actually I'm gonna, about somebody else for once. I'm gonna go. <laughs> I'm gonna go within attack roll, uh, with the dagger. Okay. okay, so you are running up and stabbing. I assume yes. from the same from the other direction from, that he came yeah, from, the, or maybe like the back, so he doesn't see me coming. Right. So you are saying you're gonna run under the dragon to its front leg. <laughs> sure, that sounds sick. Um, <laughs> okay, if you're gonna do that, I'm gonna make you roll an acrobatics check to okay. see if you can do that. All right. Please do that. Uh, oh, 18. Nice. Okay, nice. yeah, so you slide under this dragon and Dude, you pop up sick. and you're right next to its leg. Okay. And now great, great, great. roll your dagger attack. Okay, so. Good luck. Uh, you got this. Uh, 14 Ooh. plus, what's your mod? Plus 7. Yeah, that hits. So great. Okay. you drive your dagger into like this dragon's scales and you wedge it just between two scales mm. and yeah. its leg kind of jerks up a little bit, uh -huh, right. and the kid scurries out yes. and starts running away from right. it. Great. But he's only like 10 feet away right now. All right. He's not very far. Okay. And do you want to also make a crossbow attack? Yes, please. Yes. Um, Charlie has this special ability called Crossbow Expert, where once he hits with a melee attack, he can also use a crossbow attack for free. Dude, he's oh, kind of epic. <laughs> um, yes, um, right. we, have, we have a joke in our party about how he's a terrible bard because he just kills things. Because bards right. are supposed to like do singing songs and yeah, like... Yeah, bards yeah. are supposed exactly. to help the rest of the party. But no, go for it, go for it. All right, all right here we go. Um, well, you got to roll an attack roll as of well. Of course. It's I mean, not a killing is pretty hit. helpful. Yeah. Uh, oh. oh. That's um, a one. Seven plus seven, fourteen. Uh, no, that's no, seven, that's, Yeah, you you kind of ping your crossbow at the dragon's leg, but the bolt kind of bounces off and oh, kind yeah. of sticks into the ground. Okay, the scales. That's um, and now it is the turn of the masked figure. Ooh. You see, this figure, look at the two of you, then it looks at Simon. Come on. He's <laughs> on the sideline, and he kind of does like a little motion with like pointing to his eyes and then pointing to you. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. And kind of like a, he basically is like, don't get involved in this, or you will get hurt. Oh. That's what he's communicating with his, like, body language. And then oh. he turns back to Momo. Uh-oh. And he is going to throw two daggers at you. Ooh. <laughs> at the same time. Okay, all right. I, I, okay. I, I picture him, like, um, deflecting both of them with rapier. <laughs> <laughs> uh, both of these get a plus five. Ooh. So, 15 and 19 both hit? Yeah, they both hit. Okay, so he launches these two daggers at you, oh. and they both kind of, like stab into your armor, and you feel them, like, kind of poking into your flesh. Right. Um, they're each 1d4 plus 3. They're each? Plus wow. 1d4 is not a lot. B -b plus um, 3. 4, 3, so plus 3. 7 plus 6. Yikes. 7 Ooh. plus 6, that's 13 damage. So you yeah. take 13 damage. Wow. Um, what, is... what does that put you at? You uh, have a lot of health, though. So. Yeah, he has a ton of health. He has the most Puts health me of, like, anyone in the fight. 29. 29? That's more than my max health. <laughs> Same. So yeah, um, you now have these two daggers sticking out of you. Right. So the figure runs up to you, and you see on like on like one of its hips, it has a little axe. Oh. Okay. And it like pulls it out and is holding it and is kind of standing in front of you in a defensive position. Oh, at and me. that is yes. Oh, okay. Yikes. Um, it is now within your like melee range, but you're right. also within its melee range, and that is the end of the masked figure's turn. Wow. Okay. It is now Simon's turn. How close together are these dragons and the masked guy? Um, basically, like, th the two of them and the mask guy are all piled up under the dragon who was pinning the kid. Mm -hmm. The kid is, like, 15 feet away right now. Um, and the other dragon is 10 feet away from all of them. Right. Okay, fireball would hurt my friends. Heart. Yeah, fireball would hurt your friends. And also, these are flame dragons, buddy. So oh. I don't know. Right, but I have that thing that can change at the elements. Um... You do not, because this is a flashback. You have your abilities for more campaign right now, 
but you do not have your items. Oh, man. You have your starter gear for items right. right now. Okay. So you also don't have your aimbot. Not cool. <laughs> All right. I feel like Fireball would be effective against the mask guy, though. Cause the, yeah, yeah like, but not... it has a 20-foot radius. Right. Oh. That's and he's pretty right big. next to Momo. Yeah, I don't so... want to to roasty toasty yeah, He's within both five feet of both of you. Yeah. I will roasty right. toasty both of you if I do that. Uh, <laughs> don't do that. Um, let's just let's just let's just fire off a cantrip against the dragon. Let's just do it. Um, chill touch. That should do something. Um, the dragon that's next to everyone, or the dragon that's next to everybody, because it's like a targeted thing. It okay. Really right. Oh, actually, what am I doing? Crown of Madness. Ah, oh, Crown of Madness. Let's just try that. Crown of for one humanoid. So it's the mass figure is mine. <laughs> okay, so it's only the mass figure what? that can go. One humanoid has to must see on a wisdom saving throw. Okay. What's your spell DC? Um, 17. Good luck, buddy. <laughs> oh, mm, okay, bud. We'll see how this goes. Seven! Oh, uh, you got a seven. Alright, oh. so, this kind of jagged crown of basically barbed wires right. just, like, hovers above his head, and he kind of, like, convulses, and then he, like, stands up straight, and now he is under your control. Ooh. And I make him target the dragon that's near them. Ooh, and on wow. your turn, you can make him attack wow. stuff. Okay. Uh, not on your turn, on his turn. But on your wow. turn, all you can do is maintain your concentration. Yep, yep. Right. Okay. And then like, at the end of his turn, he makes a what saving throw? Wisdom saving throw. Wisdom. Yeah. Yeah, every turn he makes a wisdom save. Yeah. At the end of the turn or at the start of the at turn? At the end of his turn. At the end of okay. his turn. Okay. So I get a free attack, boy. That's a little right. annoying, but okay, bud. Um, <laughs> Psychic power! And now it is the dragon's turn. Okay. The dragon that is next to everyone is going to go first. It is going to use its fire breath. Ooh. Oh, boy. Um, so it flaps its wings and flies back a bit. Uh, so now all of you are in front of it, including the masked figure. And then it um, exhales fire in a 10-foot cone, um, which hits all three of you. And oh. the masked guy. Yes, that's okay. why I said all three of you. Right. Not oh. as in Simon. You're still at the edge of the battlefield. You're right. not actively involved right now, except yeah. for your stupid crown thing. Backline! Um, <laughs> each creature in that area takes 24 damage or half damage. Okay, so... What Everyone has to throw uh, saving throws. Okay. Dude, dragon breath is nuts. So, dexterity this, save. This better work. Dexterity save. You're proficient, so you get plus eight to dex save. Oh, yeah. I get Rogue plus... Rogue time. Two. Oh, how much is that? Plus seven. Plus seven. Cringe. Okay, so nine <laughs> failed. Oh, God. Okay. Cringe. Thirteen plus seven. Is okay, yes, you succeed. Yes. Um, The okay. masked figure has... What kind of dex? Five left. The masked figure has not bad dex. Um, okay, yeah, the master figure fails as well. Yeah. He takes damage. Well, that's good. Yeah. So, this just, like, big burst of fire right. rockets down the field and, like, wa washes over all of you. And, um, Charlie, you, you saved, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. Um, Charlie yeah. kind of jumps back a bit and only gets a little singed. And everyone else is in the middle of it. It mm. is 7d6 fire damage. Boy, 7D6? what? 7d6? Um... Uh, it's a baby dragon. Roll 7d6. 7d6. It is a dragon yeah. still, though, but Yeah, yeah dragons are... Dragon. Dragon. Okay, so That's everyone takes damage. 19 damage, except you take half. Oh. 19 divided by 2, so 18 divided by 2 is 9. Okay. So you take 9 damage. Dude, okay. you're better at math. That's terrible. I'm impressed. Um, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> okay, so 28 minus 9. What is 28 minus 9? That's I have 19. 19. Yeah, I, I got it. You I have 19. You have... 10 health. Oh, baby. Yikes. Ooh. Tanky lizard. Uh, the first dragon just, it flew away from you. It is now about 15 feet away from all of you. And right. it breathed this fire. Bruh. Bruh. And now, it is the second dragon's turn. Oh, God. And oh, the gosh. second dragon right. um, turns to you, Simon. And oh. you are still at the edge of the battlefield. And it charges at you. And the people standing near you run aside. And it just kind of, like, chomps down on you. Oh. Um, How do I save myself? It is going to be uh, an attack roll. It gets plus three to hit. Um, 19 Ooh. hits against your AC. Yeah. Um, it's 1d10 plus 1 damage, so it could be a lot worse. Well, not and that bad. Oh, 1d10. Okay. Um, that, that's you can take 11 bad. at most. Yeah. Yeah, I, I can do 6. Seven, uh, so you take 7 damage. Psh, okay. Um, 14, 16. Uh, oh, 16. Oh, and 1d6 fire damage. Oh, oh come oh, on. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Okay. Two, okay. That's not bad. Could have been worse. So you take right. nine damage. Could have been worse. Um, so uh, 23 minus nine. 14. There yeah. we go. So, D &D, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so that is the two dragons. Oh, it is now Momo's goodness. turn again. Oh, finally. You are next Thank to the masked God. figure yes. and to Turley. You have dags, um, daggers inside of you. you the dragon that just attacked 
our boy is 30 feet away from you. The dragon that just breathed fire on you is 15 feet away from you. Momo, listen to me. Why? All right, all right, listen, listen, okay? Wrong, The, the, the masked guy, don't worry about that guy. He's, he's, I, he's, 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 I, he's mine. Um, I, actually, read me the description of Crown of Madness. Okay, one humanoid of your choice that you can see within range must succeed on a wisdom saving throw or become charmed by fry you for the duration. While the target is charmed in this way, a twisted crown of jagged iron appears on his hand mm -hmm. and a madness glows in his eyes. The charm target must use must use action before moving on each of his turns to make a melee attack against the creature other than itself that you mentally choose. Target can act normally on its turn if you choose no creature or gun within reach. Okay, okay, so you only control its attack. You don't control its movement, and you don't control its um, reactions. Right. You only control its action. So if you were to step away from him right now, he would use his reaction to make an opportunity attack against right. you. Right, an opportunity Good attack. job, DM. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I knew it can't be as broken as right. you're making it. <laughs> well, now that I'm thinking about it, is, uh, is this guy still on his defensive with an axe position? Um, is he still doing that? He's still, like, standing in front of you and holding the axe, yes. Um, right. I don't think he would be harder to hit in-game. I'm just, like, okay. describing. It's oh, not, okay. like, a stats right. thing. It's a okay. flavor thing right now. Okay, okay. That makes sense. I'd still prefer if you got this dragon that yeah. just bit me. I know. Me. <laughs> well, okay. Oh, yeah. But I don't also, want you to die. The dragon didn't, like, stay chomped onto you. It, like, kind of threw Jump you and against then, the like, tree. Back. Okay. So you're still, like, standing. It's just you have bite marks in you. I know. Right. Um, okay. But how, he's pretty close to me still. I guess. Yes, he is five feet away from you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, but you're not, like, grappled or prone. Nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, so technically I could go for that chumpy dragon. Chumpy, chumpy dragon. Chumpy. chumpy. But I'm thinking about... Well, this fire dragon is also making a lot of uh, AoE damage. True. So that might take both of us out at once at some point. Yeah. Like, so I'm yeah. thinking about the AoE dragon here. You know what okay. I mean? Right. You know what I mean? I so, think both dragons can do that, though, since they're the same, yeah. right? But like, this, I don't know, guys. Use right. your common but sense. But the, the other one no. didn't, you know, you just chomped. You know what? The, the five foot guy's close to me. I can take care of that guy. All right. <laughs> All right. That's cool. I'll fry him. Okay. Well, then I'll go for the fire dragon. Are you gonna like take those daggers out of your body? Uh, you it's, it's you just leave them. Yeah, <laughs> that's for that's, that's kind of epic. Uh, yeah, yeah you're, you're epic. better than that. You yeah, know. I know. Okay, so so I'm gonna try to like stab stab the dragon. Yeah, literally just fork the dragon. <laughs> okay, I so I will try to fork the dragon. Go for it. All right, Forking. wish me luck. Um, wait, Ooh. why are you rolling two d six? Wait, are you? Oh, wait, never mind. What are you mind. using? I'm using my rapier. Okay, so that's a D8. Oh, D8. Uh, these boys. Okay. Okay, so you miss anyway, so it doesn't really matter. He tried, he tried, he tried. <laughs> he tried. <laughs> um, so well, you, like, swing. Yeah. Uh, so you run up to the one that breathes fire? Yes. Um, okay, well, first of all, do you want to use your bonus action to disengage? Because otherwise you are going to eat an axe attack from the boy. Right, yeah, I'm going to do that. Okay, so yeah. you, like, kind of, like... Push yourself away from him. Yeah. And he, like, tries to swing at you, but he can't because you're just out of his reach. Yeah. And then you run up to the other dragon, and mm -hmm. you, like, try to stab it with your rapier. Right. But it kind of, like, takes a step back, and it yeah. kind of roars in your face. That's true. All right. Um, that's that true. Makes sense. That's great. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I love how Moses says that. Um, <laughs> and now, it is going to be Charlie's turn again. Okay, so... Um, also, you're also within five feet of the guy, and if you want to disengage, that's an action for you because you don't have cunning action. Because uh -huh, right. you're not a rogue. Yeah. Even though you play like one. <laughs> okay, so like. I mean, okay, the party is kind of like wrecked right now. Yeah. <laughs> who who has the lowest HP right now? I have fourteen. I have ten. He has yeah. Oh, you have ten. Yeah, I know. I have ten. Okay, I want to use cure wounds oh, on God. Momo. Is cure here. wounds. Uh, what's the range Roll. for cure wounds? Touch. Oh. oh. Okay, then you oh. have to run up to him and touch him. Yikes. Okay. Do you want to eat that opportunity attack? I I do. Yes. Okay. Oh, thank you. So I appreciate I've changed. He's max health, dude. The boy swings his axe at you as no. you're getting away from him. That boy. Um, yeah, Ooh. so he... How do you roll these numbers? 19? Uh, it's, my, it's my evil DM powers. Yeah. <laughs> so that's 1d8 plus 3 slashing damage. Ooh. So I'm taking this damage? Ooh. Oh, baby, 11 damage. What is this? This is literally maximum so damage. So as you are stepping away from the figure... He hacks at you with his axe. Nice. The axe. You feel the axe bite into like your shoulder and your oh. back. Oof. But you push on anyway, and you run up to your your nice, comrade, nice. your okay. buddy, comrade. and then and you heal him. I assume. All right, let's go. Big heal. That uh, is a big heal. Please. Ooh, Ooh. Wow. That is that not is bad. Eighteen. Eighteen health. Wow. So that's insane. This like kind of beautiful light courses around Momo. As his health and his 
life and power restored to him. And Wounds cured. he is now doing pretty well. He's not I looking as bad. Well. Great. In fact, um, the daggers fall out of him yeah. ah. because um, the wounds kind of close energy. up. Yeah, that's yes. cool. Yeah, um, yeah. I want that flavor. Completely, yeah. Just um, back. It is now the turn of the robed figure. Yeah, okay, so within the robed figure's reach yes. um, is the dragon and the two of them, and you get to force him to attack one of those guys. Oh, so the oh, dragon okay. then. Okay, All right. so... You, he, you can see that he wants to run up and chop Momo again, <laughs> um, but you use your like mind control powers to force him to run past Momo, and as right. he's running past Momo, he glares at you. And he looks <laughs> yeah. real upset. Wait, he's in madness. How does he like have this much Well, like I said, you only control his action. You don't control a lot of his other stuff. So That's you're, true. you're actually like wrestling for control of his body. That's yes. lit. <laughs> um, so he runs up to the dragon. Um, dagger attack or hand axe attack? Actually, he gets multi-attack. So he gets oh. two dagger attacks or a dagger and hand axe. Ooh. Dagger hand axe sounds good. Yeah, that sounds good. Alright, so wow. that is going to be Big boy two d20s and then one d8 and one d4. Okay. He gets plus five. So then 14... No, yeah, neither of those hit. <gasps> oh, how come when like it's good for us, you don't roll good? Huh? Oh, <laughs> what is this? I don't know. It's a good. Where's good the ref? Voodoo. I need the ref. So he, he like <laughs> swings at the dragon, but yeah. the dragon like very easily dodges, and then he swings with the dagger, and the drag and the dragon dodges again, as if he's controlling the dragons too. Rigged. And, Actually um, rigged. <laughs> um, and then he makes his wisdom save. Okay. Save. If you win the wisdom save, I'm going to scream. Um, <laughs> I'm going to. No, cry. yeah. Oh, you God. are still in control of him. Right. Okay. And the crown kind of like bites into his head more, and he kind of like screams a little bit. Good. Right. Um, That's mad. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> good. Um, and it is good. now Simon's turn, but you use your turn to maintain. Yes. The thing. Can I, I move just, away from? I think danger? you can move away from the dragon. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's good. Um, good. 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 Um, but because you are within five feet of the dragon, it will get an opportunity attack on you. Oh sh! Wait. Um, wait. 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 You can use disengage, but then that's your action, and you're breaking the crown. Of yeah. Yeah. So maybe actually it's better for me to just not move. Okay. I mean, okay. I mean, you can. So you're still wait, with, but you can avoid the attack, maybe, and then still move after. That's that. true. So uh, I'm gonna like scoot because my the range of crown is 120 feet. Right. So I can like I can dip. What's what's your health right now? Twenty your health is fourteen. Oh shoot. Fourteen. Ooh. Ooh. Wait, maybe I should move. Oh. So do you want to stay with your back to this tree and with this, this dragon in front of you? Because you can. You, your only attacks are the axe man. Which, anyway. True. Which yeah. one? Yeah. So if I don't move, I take less damage. Hmm. Or you can mm. also like just blast the dragon with a spell. I could also not maintain my crown of madness on the guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you would lose your crown of madness, but crown of madness hasn't been the most helpful for you right now. True. Mm. You know what? I sh I'm, I'm, I'm strategy talking with you guys too right. much. I you are. I shouldn't be giving you tips. I'm being mind gamed. <laughs> but if the crowd of madness is on him, then he really can't use his daggers how, on us. How thick is a dragon to kill? That's true. Dragons are like the most powerful. Okay, if, if I, assuming I, tr I kill a dragon this turn, I still have two enemies that are going to try and kill um, me. Can all three of you roll history checks real quick? History checks. That's random. Nine. Ten. Two. Wow. Okay, we're dumb. What, what um, bonuses do we have? Uh, what's your plus to history? Plus five history. Ooh. Oh, okay, so with a 14. Um, you remember your... In your classes when you talked about different monsters you might encounter, you only talked about dragons very, very briefly because dragons are widely considered to be it's extinct. Right. Dragons have not existed for, like, millennia. Sure. Um, but also, they were legendarily powerful even... As like little tiny babies. Ooh, yeah. Okay. Um, this is a big that deal. is that is what I'm gonna give you with that okay. roll. All right. Uh, yeah. So I'm gonna maintain my crown of madness and not move. That's what that's my problem. Okay. Okay. So you are standing with your back against this this tree. Yeah. This dragon is like breathing on you. You can feel right. his hot breath. He's five feet away. He is five feet away. He's not that close. Mm -hmm. And now it is the dragon's turn. Um, oh, no. First is the one that you guys are busy with. All right. The fire one. Um, They're all fire ones. Well, okay, maybe. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so it is going to bite somebody. How? Oh, it's going to bite. It um, saw that you healed him, <laughs> and it kind of, like, bounds forward towards you, and it tries to chomp down on you. Eight, lol. Um, but it gets plus three. 
Yeah, no, that's a yeah. miss. That's a miss. Mm-hmm. So it like Good. what up? It chomps like at you. Yeah. But you put up your keytar, your <laughs> epic musical key-tar. instrument yeah. that you don't use, um, that, that don't you never use. use. Um, yeah. well, when you cast the thing, you're like touching him with one hand and playing on it with the other, because mm, that is yeah. how you cast your spells. Right. Right. Um, so you like block with your keytar, and its mouth is like over it. Oh, that's sick. Ooh. And its saliva is like oh. dripping onto you a bit. But you push it off and it gets back and it looks kind of confused. And his guitar wow. is still fine. So it, yeah. It's like unscathed. Legendary yeah, it guitar. is. It's a tough guitar. Okay. Um, and guitar. Guitar. <laughs> right. And that is the first dragon's turn. The other nice. dragon is going to use his fire breath blood. Oh no. Oh. So it kind of like, it just like stares at you, and then it winks. Right. <laughs> and then it opens its mouth, and you see a bright light. Ooh. And then you make a dexterity saving throw. I have weird days every too, like that one time that other guy saw a bright light when he went dexterity. <laughs> Bruh. Make, make a dexterity saving throw. You're gonna buddy. need this Dexterity slow. saving throw, okay. The DC you is 12. <laughs> Blow on it, Momo. Uh, uh, 9 plus... 2. 11. Oh, you do not clear. Are you serious? That is uh, going to be no. 76 fire damage. 76. 76? Okay, if I literally just Roll die... You're gonna 76. die, aren't you? No, I think you can't. You, you okay if he one. if he rolls oh, seven oh ones. My gosh. <laughs> why I didn't want it to roll this high but it did um how much it's 26 boys oh what? my gosh um so oh. this giant Rigged. this giant Rigged. blast of flame envelops you and the tree that you're standing in front uh, of this kind of sucks um and you try to get out of the way but you trip on your wizardly robes and you, you face plant into the dirt, oh, and you're on fire. On fire. And you take 26 damage. I'm at negative 12. You are at negative 12. Oh my god. So you are well into unconsciousness. Um, oh, oh, time to use Q. I'm gonna say you're one point away from death. Okay. Thanks, um, thanks, bro. <laughs> yeah. Is that thing in my pocket helping um, me now? <laughs> and the tree, the, the tree that it's was dead. standing behind you. It's dead. <laughs> it starts falling forward. <laughs> Wait, toward, towards it, him. It falls on the dragon, and right. it just misses your feet. Oh, okay. And the dragon is going to take, I'm going to say, <laughs> a d10 of blunt damage roll. D10. I mean, it's d10. a tree. That's good yeah. for us. Um, and it's, it's also right. going to be prone. Okay, so it takes three. Okay. Thanks, DM. <laughs> yeah. um, so, um, so this dragon is now pinned under this tree, Okay. and it looks kind of hurt. Not as hurt as you as you would expect it to, but right. it's like it's kind of hurt. Um, Wait, hold on. Important question. What's up? I use my crown of madness on the guy, and okay. oh yeah, the crown of madness is Gonzo's. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. I, d- I used my turn to maintain it, so it's maintained. Um, no, because it's a concentration spell, and you can't concentrate when you're unconscious. Uh. <laughs> so I'm afraid not. But right. um, I'm I thought, afraid like, not. Okay. I wish I could give you that, but I I really cannot. <laughs> It is now Momo's turn. Okay, so I gotta think. You now. just saw your bro get. I know. To roasty toasty. <laughs> I, I might have to heal you. Yeah, as uh, much as I want to get the masked guy and the other dragon, I'll have more chance be able to hit the dragon on, that is pinned by the tree. Yeah. Uh, speaking of the masked guy, yeah, I will give you an advantage on that. Okay. Um, speaking of the masked guy, um, he is standing basically next to you. Right. And he, you see the crown above his head just kind of like shatter. Right. And mm, disappear. Yeah. Yeah. And then he turns to you. Yeah. And then he says, oh, baby, <laughs> it's getting fun. Yeah. And then he's like kind of like stroking his axe. Right. And he's just, he just can't wait for his turn. Okay. And it is now your turn. <laughs> I right. like that culture element a lot. <laughs> well, okay. I'm going to try and escape uh, from his grasp of like his axe. Terror. And try to... So uh, use my um, movement speed to the to the, the You can the use engine. disengage as a bonus action. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So okay. you're doing that? Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Okay, so you disengage from him, so he, he can't hit you and he's like, Darn Right. Alright, and then he turns to Charlie. Oh, yeah. Um but you are doing what? You're attacking the dragon that's pinned? Yes. Okay. Reap your time. So mm-hmm. you run over to it, um, roll two D twenty and the higher result counts. Okay. Two D twenty. Advantage. Yeah, it's advantage. Because the dragon is pinned. Don't get two ones, I swear. <laughs> oh baby okay what 7 plus this? 7 is 14 so you like thrust at it twice and somehow miraculously like the leaves of the tree get in the way of the oh first attack goodness. it's not oh, moving it's literally on. a non-moving and part. then oh. the second attack you kind of like trip a little bit and you just like just whiff 
And then you're standing in front of the dragon, and you're looking at each other awkwardly. Ah, oh, what is that? And it's like, dragons can't talk. At yeah. least these ones can't. But you're like, you can tell that its eyes are like, are you serious, bro? Yeah, okay. <laughs> I don't think you've landed a single attack all game. Yeah, I didn't. Oh, I man. Did. Wow. <laughs> he carried the Octorok fight, and now I he did. Uh, yeah. Reputation. This is, this is the D&D god uh. punishing you for... Missing last session. No, it's a D and D gods <laughs> giving you all the rolls that are good. I uh, honestly don't know why it's this unlucky for you guys so far. Yeah, um, but this is not an unsalvageable situation. Um, okay, it's close, but it's kind of up to Charlie now. That's okay, true. Charlie, bud. He's kind of carried away. Okay, so Simon is unconscious. Yeah. Oh, sorry, Simon. I can't is, talk. I'm dead. He's unconscious. Yeah, I no, want to use him. Cure Wounds level three again. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Is that an option? Yes, you can. So, but you um, will take an opportunity attack. Opportunity attack from the boy. Oh, All right, the mess. Um, one. I roll. Oh. Um, what's your health? Your health is eight. Are you mm. sure? Mm. Are you super duper sure that that is the course you want to go with? Um, I think I'm just gonna. Are you gonna do it? Take the risk and try to to heal Simon, and hope for the best. Um, do you not really? Do you really not have any ranged heals? No. He oh, baby. He's the terrible part. This is... <laughs> Should have gone with Clara Kava. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, though maybe Momo should have gone with Clara since he hasn't hit all day. <laughs> That's true. Okay, so are you disengaging and running over, or are you I'm like going running straight. over I'm just going straight over. Okay, bud. Godspeed. Godspeed. I really hope this doesn't hit you. Dude, um, for once, don't roll good. Oh, baby, that hits. Barely. Oh, oh. That barely hits. Here's what I'm going to give you. I'm going to make him roll with disadvantage. Okay. <laughs> the gods have smiled the grace upon it. Um, of In fact, the DM. roll a real quick perception check. Perception check. D20. The DC is 15. Ooh. 16. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Um, you actually notice him, like, start to swing at you. Oh. And then he kind of hesitates. Ooh. And that's why he's rolling with disadvantage. Okay. Okay. Four. Four. He... Finishes the swing, but by the time he swings, you're already bolting away from him. <laughs> oh, you pathetic. are gone. <sighs> and he he doesn't look too upset. He's like, okay, right. whatever. And he just kind of like stands there. Okay, huh? <laughs> it okay. actually worked. Um, and now, thank God. <sighs> yeah, go go for it. So three d eight, right? Yes, yeah. three d eight. So oh, yeah. here's the third Sweet one. Heal, dude. Here we go. Uh, seven four thirteen. Thirteen. You're at one health, bud. Yeah. <laughs> right, so you're alive now. Woo, he living. Just barely. He living. I living. <laughs> okay, and burn your spell slot, bud. Right, it's gone. Ooh. That's it. It's okay. You're out of level three spells. Great. Um, it is now... We've got to do something. Yeah. It is now the figure's turn. Oh. The masked axeman? Yes. Okay. He runs up to you, Momo. Oh, boy. I yeah, he's really going oh. after you. Don't like really don't relax me. too much. And as he runs up to you and he's standing in front of you. Right. Um, he does a little weird like a little weird like dance move. What? And then you see through his mask, he like winks at you. What? <laughs> and then you hear kissing noises. What? He's and so flirty. Did you write yourself into a character? <laughs> what is that? And now he is going to roll a charisma check. Oh my Wait goodness. A Contested by a wisdom check from you. So you roll what? and you add your mm. wisdom. A guy who uses an axe who does this. Um, there you oh, go. Eight plus, what's his charisma? His charisma is two, so ten. You have to be ten with wisdom. Come on. Your wisdom is plus two. Okay. He can do that. He's 50-50. Yes! All right. Um, you are not impressed. <laughs> I'm not at all. <laughs> yep. Um, I was just... And it's good that you whoa, aren't, whoa, because stop. Yeah. <laughs> if if you failed that roll, he would have advantage on his next attack. Ooh. Okay. Um, and it's he a bonus. It's a bonus action from him. Um, right. So Charm. now <laughs> he's gonna swing his axe at you. Oh, uh, okay. And his dagger. Cool. I mean, um, you're pretty thick. He, I'm in fact, thick. it's it's a weird fighting style. He's doing it at the same time. In right. one hand, he has the dagger, and in the, the other, has the yeah. axe, and he's doing it like from Dude, different angles, from two different directions. Weird. Okay. Ooh. Ten. Um, he gets plus five to each of those. So oh, gosh. Those both hit? Yes. Yeah. Seriously? Okay, yeah. so seven and one plus six. So eight plus six, 14. Oh. So okay. he, like, slashes at you with both weapons, and you, like, try to avoid each one, but you, like, do the wrong motions. So you're, like, oh. with your left half, you're dodging the axe, even though that's where the dagger is. Yeah. And vice versa. Yeah. And they both just sink into you. Ugh. And it hurts, dude. It does um, hurt. A what's, lot. Uh, what's your health now? 14. 
Um, so you are now at 14 man. health. I need you to make a perception check. All right, I can do that. <laughs> you can do that. But can you roll? 20. Oh, nice. Oh, dang, bud. 20. Okay, so... Good rolls. I like it. These movements that he's doing seem really familiar to you. Right. It's like you've you've trained with this person before. Yeah. Like you've had fights with this person before. Yeah. But you can't quite put a finger on who it is. With right. a 20, you can't put a finger on it? <laughs> <laughs> Just, um, uh, now no. it is going to be Simon's turn. Okay. What? You are Mr. Alive, One man. Health Man. Yeah. Go for it, bud. <laughs> okay. Crown? You want to try that crown of madness again? How far away Have are you? Have you heard the definition of insanity? <laughs> <laughs> How far away... Um, are the other enemies to each other? Um, right now, everyone except for one dragon is in a pileup, so everyone is within 10 feet of each other. Wow. Um, all of the melee guys are actually within 5 feet of each other. You're within 10 feet of them because you're lying on the ground a little farther away. Yeah. Um, the other dragon is like uh, 30 feet away. Mm-hmm. He looks kind of lonely over there. Yeah. <laughs> I can see that. <laughs> uh, Sad dragon. Wait, I have an idea. I have an idea. I have an idea. All right, what's Fire up? dragons, they hate ice. How okay. how far I, he just healed me right, mm-hmm. so he's close to me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like right. How next would to you me. like the power of an ice dragon? Do you, do you have any maybe better ice spells? Just a pro nope, tip. I don't. <laughs> okay. I Wait, do what, not. What, what are you getting at here? Can I do an ice attack? You you want he you get ice you dragon ice breath. breath. Let's do oh. that. Do you remember that? Yeah, I, I remember. I remember. You like ice breath? I like okay. this a lot. Yes. Mm. This should be some critical damage. Cool. Yeah, I I, I touched I touched Chuck and beat him with the power of an ice dragon. That should awesome. screw some people up. Okay. So on your turn, as an action, you can breathe. Fifteen ice. foot cone, three d six. Fifteen foot cone. Ooh. That's three d six. Oh yeah. Yeah, unless your buds get out of the way of that, that is going to hurt him at least. Right. Um, right. I assume you're standing behind him right now? I am. So, okay, okay so he's still in the way of that. Okay. Um, it is now the dragon's turn! Oh, God. Which dragon is this? Um, is it the lonely? Well, one? they both take their turn at the same time, but oh, the, the right. one that's far away goes first. He kind of lingers where he is. Okay. He stays where he is, and he just kind of looks you all up, to, up and down, and kind of like claws the ground like an angry bull. Right. But it's doesn't weird. actually quite do anything. Oh, thank okay. you. The dragon that's next to you guys oh, right. oh, is going to make a strength check to see if he can get out of the tree that of he's course. pinned on. For once, he's rolling that one. Get, just one time. Get nothing. Oh, oh my god. god. Oh my god. <laughs> 19. That was a 19. Okay, how does this work mathematically? How are you always doing this? Yeah. I have no idea. It's insane. I, I guess I'm like blessed today. Um, Hashtag blessed. So... God. He yeets that tree out. He hurls yeah. this tree into the sky, <laughs> and it's like the tree the tree like catches fire from touching his body, wow. and Whoa. it burns up before it touches the ground. Wow. That's kind of sick. And this, yeah. cool. this kind of rain of ashes comes down on you guys, Shoot. and the dragon roars defiantly. Wow. And then it is going to take its turn, Oof. which is going to be a bite attack. So I'll it, take it chomps at you, Momo. Yeah. Um, it like is going 14. to roll... Yeah. Yes. Okay. So it chomps into you. Seven. And it deals seven plus uh. eight. So it chomps into your arm, and you you feel its fangs sink into you, yep. and it burns. Ouch. Okay. And you are now eight health less, which is... Six. 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 Momo has six. Chuck has eight. You I have, have one. one. This, this is, is bad. bad. <laughs> one AoE fire damage Because Mr. This. DM man keeps rolling good. <laughs> Um, every roll. I need, uh, I need everyone who's conscious to make a perception check. Perception. I'm, we're all conscious, bro. Ten. I've got a ten. Eighteen. Okay, Simon, you notice Ooh. that nice. none of the teachers are stepping in. Um, right. Like, everyone in the crowd looks panicked, and a lot of them look too scared to do anything. All of the teachers look calm, and they're not stepping in. That is oh. weird. That's really um, weird. And, like, in my perception check, it says something like, we used to fight together. It is now going to be Momo's turn. Okay. All right. Okay, please land something. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Uh, make an attack, bud. Okay, okay, okay Momo, um, listen. I think the hood, the, 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 the guy himself yeah. isn't as powerful as a dragon. He's like a squishy. Yeah. Well, I will do the, do the Rakush audacity on the, the other dragon, because I don't want to get caught in that AoE fire damage and we're all piled up in that one place. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you're so, running over to the Lonely Dragon. Yes. And you're attacking. I'm attacking. Make an attack roll. Okay. Here we go. Wait, is he moved? Yes. That so makes... it's, I'm using a rapier. Oh, also, I assume you disengaged as a bonus action. Yes. You, you that's can, the, like, do the dragon without hitting him. Yes. Uh, 
Uh, oh, what? Um, lucky. You can use a point of lucky to yeah, reroll. I'm gonna use my. Okay, so cross off. Yeah, I one want use of lucky. Two. Oh my. Yeah, Dude, <laughs> why are you using lucky? This but is great. You got an eight. Yeah. So. Yeah. So Please. actually, I'm gonna say you have to reroll that too. Oh, oh come on! It's an attack. It's, it's you reroll the attack, true. but. Okay, it's okay. I'm gonna get another eight here. Totally. Oh, oh, what? Is this what? <laughs> I just got the same. Wait, how is that possible? What's the pos okay, okay, wait, so the likelihood of rolling both of those exactly the same? Wait, 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 how do you get... One in eight times one in twelve, uh, again. Just, just for some context for our listeners, on the dice that decides if he hits or not, he just rolled the second lowest possible number twice in a row. But twice on the dice row. that decides how much damage he would do... If he had hit, yes. he rolled the highest number twice, twice. in a row. Yes. What? So that's one out of 640 to, to have that happen. Uh, what? Yep, I just did the math. Do you want to use yeah. another point of yes, luck? Yes, I will. I will, obviously. Oh my god. If he rolls the same thing a, a third time. Imagine he gets a 20 and a 1. Mm. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, please, on. just... <laughs> three times. Come on. Third, third time's the charm, yeah. Third time's the charm, boys. Come on. 19 oh, eight. Oh, Yes! <laughs> oh! All right. Lucky and plus sneak attack damage. Yes. Sneak um. So attack. plus oh plus your strength. Damage. Wait. So eight plus your oh dex modifier. Yeah. So that is going to be eleven. Oh. All right. no. No, wait, no, no. No. What am I saying? That's thirteen. Thir yeah. Thirteen okay. plus sneak attack damage. Two d six. Oh. So roll another two d six, bud. He gets three d six for sneak attack. Okay. This so let let me explain this. Low. Yeah. Rogues have this thing called sneak attack, and usually you have to hide or just take the enemy by surprise somehow to use it, but because he's a swashbuckler. He gets to use it whenever he's fighting one on one with an enemy and nobody else is close to them. Yes. Which is the case with this dragon. So now he's gonna deal 13 damage plus 3d6. Ooh. Okay. Um, so that's 9. Okay, 13 plus 9. You drive your sword into this dragon's oh, mouth. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. And the dragon looks really surprised. Yeah. And really, like, kind of scared. Uh -huh. And it kind of, it doesn't even yell, it kind of just, like, whimpers. Right. Dude, you made a dragon whimper. <laughs> And then you pull your sword out, Ooh. and it kind of like drops back, Ooh. and it is now growling at you. Ooh. Okay. Um, I'm still surprised it's alive, but Wait, how much damage did you? Fifteen, do? seventeen, did twenty-two damage. damage. 22, twenty-two damage. Yes, overall. Twenty-two damage. I mean, um, hey, what's up? So now it is Shirley's turn. Right. Yes. I want to use ice breath on the other dragon. Are you sure you don't want to use more heals because your party is really low? <laughs> And you are the bard. You're you know the one you're, you're right. You're right. Um, only thing is, Momo's at six. I'm you're at, at eight. I'm at yeah. one. I'm in, Simon's at one. If, yeah. if I use one. cure wounds, it'll have to be a level two. Yes, but yeah. I think I'll do that anyway. You're okay. right next to me. Right? Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna yeah. go with Simon. Thanks, bro. Um, can I use um, dragon breath next time? Yeah. Oh well, yeah. Nice. Okay. 11. I have twelve now. So Ooh, Simon, that's a good roll. That's now more than all of us. Health. That's a really good roll. I'm actually being a bard this time. Thank yeah. you, bard. Thank you. He's doing his job. <laughs> his mom must be so proud of him. Well, you did have some pretty sick moments. <laughs> okay, like, so like, now it is the rogue's turn. Um, by which I mean the, the, the hooded figure. The, the, boy. The, the boy. boy. the boy. It the is boy. the boy. It is the boy. The, um, boy. the boy is going to throw two more daggers. And they are both... No, not both. One is going to be at Churly, Ooh. and one is going to be at Momo. Okay. So let's roll the Churly one first. I'm dodging all these attacks. Okay. So that is going to be... Oh, also, real quick, before we do that, I keep forgetting to do this. I need you, I need you to make an insight check. Me, okay. Insight, not 16. Plus four. Wow, okay, so 20. Dirty 20. Ooh. Um, so this is something you were technically supposed to notice last time you cast a spell. So... When you ca when you last <laughs> cast a spell, um, you noticed the hooded figure looking at you, and it has kind of like a weird emotion about it. It almost seems like kind of jealous of like uh -huh. your magic. Oh. Wow. Um, that's all you get from that. Okay. And now it is going to actually throw those daggers. <laughs> jealous right. of my magic. Um, I'll take it. Who could it be? This is character building, guys. Yeah. Um, except the reveal isn't. You'll see. Whatever. I just oh. made him go mad. He jealous of that. <laughs> um, he jelly. Well, it's not like it's not like active jealousy. It's more like passive. Yeah, yeah it's more like yeah. It's yeah. it's not like angry jealous. It's like sad jealous. Oh, okay. Um Okay, so now two dagger attacks. So they each get plus five. Okay. One. Okay. One hit. Um, that one was against Churley. Oh, so yes. for you all, that one, one just got dead right. Hits my boy. 
My boy. My boy. My boy. Um, that's you. You're my boy. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, All right. It All is right. one d one d four plus three. Plus three, please. Oh, okay. One. Nice. So f- you take four damage. Okay. No problem. Not still terrible. alive, baby. Right. To, to hell. hell. Uh. Um, this dagger. Um, you feel a dagger like stab into your back. Yeah. And you Gah! are barely standing at this point. It is now Simon's turn. Nani. <laughs> okay, Simon, buddy, what Nani. you gonna do? The I want to hit just the boy. Okay, just the, the boy. boy. Yeah. Um, I don't because I feel like fire will help the fire dragon somehow. Um, right. Well, okay. This is a rules thing, so I'm gonna tell you this. No, that's not how it works. It doesn't. It. Let me check if it has resistance or immunity. Um, but even if it has immunity, that just means, um, yeah, it has immunity. So that means it doesn't take any damage from it. Oh, that'll oh. take a little battle. Yeah, yeah, you can cool. cast it from your position. From my position. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. So Agnes Arrow Scorcher. That's um, he makes a dex save, I believe. Uh, dex saving though. Yeah, so he didn't clear that. So what happens to him? He didn't clear that. Yes. So 3d8 fire damage. Uh, roll it. Oh, yeah. Make sure they're all actually d8. Scorchy, scorchy time. 853. That's Ooh. 16. 16. That's a lot of damage. So you do this big Kamehameha of fire. Yeah. And it, um, it eats up the guy, and he looks, he looks angry. And he's just standing in the fire and glaring at you as it washes over him. Wow. And he's clearly being hurt very badly. But yeah. he just stands there like... Yeah, and yeah. it also hits the dragon behind him, but the dragon is kind of made of fire already. Yeah. yeah. So it just kind of like yawns. Mm, right. um, Boring. I could do so better. So how much was that? 16? Yeah. Oh, but... That's okay. a nice... Night. He doesn't look He doesn't look tired at all. He's just um, there. He yeah. looks very badly hurt, Ooh. but also very angry. Okay, okay. Angry. All right, all right. You feel like this person should have maybe been a berserker and not like a rogue. Right. <laughs> okay. It is now... It is now the dragon's turn. It kind of rears back from you. Right. Make an opportunity attack. 18. 18. Okay, so you hit it. 7 plus 5. 13. That's 13. Um, so as no, the dragon... 12. 12. 12. 12. Okay, so as okay. the dragon kind of jumps back from you, you kind of stab it in the toes. Oh, yeah. Nice. And it kind of like... You, you like kind of peel off a bunch of its like... Uh, oh, skin, yeah. Um, not skin, scales. Yeah, scales. Um, it, it, its foot crackles like a log in a fire. Okay. Wow, um, I like that. Wow. Um, but it kind of ignores you and it flies up into the air. Oh, it's very tanky. And it yeah. flies over to the two of you, and it is hovering over the two of you, and it is going to do its fire breath straight down. Yeah, this dragon is already looking very beat up. The other one, yeah. who was pinned under the tree, barely, barely hurt. He, no, lo- he no. looks very fine. Okay, baby dragons are broken. <laughs> but the dragon that um, that Momo has been oh, yeah. annihilating yeah, looks really bad. Yeah. Yeah. But nevertheless, it is going to fire breathe directly down onto you. You both make dex saves. Dex saved. Okay. DC 12. Oh. 11. 11 plus 2. So you both 13. take half damage. Half okay. damage. So I have to roll 7d6. Oh, come on. And then on. divide by 2. Yes. Right. Um, right. 24 divided by 2, 12. 12. You both take 12 damage. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm unconscious. <laughs> You're both at zero. <laughs> Seriously? I think that's exactly so. <laughs> oh my goodness. And the dragon flops onto the ground, and it looks very satisfied with itself, and very happy with itself. Stupid. It's just Momo. Right. Momo, it is your turn. Okay. Um, so they're all kind of together, right. and you're kind of behind the one dragon that just went. Yeah. And, yeah. Well, technically, wouldn't I also have another sneak attack if I attack that one dragon? Um, which one? The one that you've already been hurting? Yeah. Um, you wouldn't have that attack through, um, like, you wouldn't have that attack through your pirate feature, because right. it is now close to the other ones. Right. But okay. you can have it if you use hide as a bonus action. Mm-hmm. So how are you hiding? It's kind of a big grassy field. That's true. And you're a yellow lizard? Yeah. Okay, bud, how are you a yellow lizard hiding in this know. big grassy field? I don't know. Well, that's true. Um, you are short. Um, there are trees around. Yeah. Let's go behind so, a tree. Yeah. Like, or, like, climb on the tree and then from top um, of the, the tree. The tree next to the staircase yeah. is actually kind of leaning over the battlefield. Yeah. And do you want to, like, jump off that? Oh, yeah, definitely. Okay, so you scurry. You scurry up this tree. Yes. And they, they're, like, looking around, like, wait, where did he go? He was just here. Yes. And you're right above them on the tree. Mm-hmm. And are you jumping down onto the wounded dragon? Yes, I am. So you leap down onto it. Come on. Because this is cool, I'm going to give you advantage. Oh, it yeah. is cool. <laughs> it is. Um, so roll 2d20. Like a lizard with shades with a rapier flying through the sky. Yes. And you're adding your you're adding plus 7 to each. So. 
Oh, oh, that's a crit. Wow. That's a crit right there. Okay, so. Nice. Nice. Since that's a crit, Finally, um, some good roll. you're that rolling work? 2d8, and you're mm. adding 5 to each one, and then we're doing sneak attack. Okay, that's pretty All good. Right. Um, okay, uh, plus 10. 12, yeah. 22 damage so far. 22 Ooh. damage, plus 3d6. 3d6? What? Because that's his sneak attack. 22 oh plus man. 3d6. Eight. Eight. Okay. okay, so 30 damage. 30 damage. That's yeah. a lot of damage. You drive your sword oh. into this dragon's back, oh. and it's like it's like a hot knife through water. You don't even feel it. You pass right Ooh, through it, nice. and the dragon just scatters into ash around you. Wow. It, it leaves oh. nothing behind. No Ooh. bones, no anything. You, like, wow. do a superhero landing on it the ground. It just turns into ash. Wow. I got chills, bro. Um, <laughs> wow. And now you're standing in front of this other dude and this dragon. Yep. It is now the the turn of the skinny boy. Okay, for once, just roll bad. Just roll bad. Um, <laughs> That's he, true. He just kind of looks at you stunned for a second. Yeah. And then he claps. Yeah. <laughs> that was Thanks. a pretty impressive performance, if it I do say so myself. I think this whole charade is over, though. Oh. Um, you see Dr. Bones, the director of the school, step up onto the grassy field calmly, and he casts Great Healing Word, and the two of you, actually all three of you, you're healed to full health immediately. Oh, oh so, um, shoot. Wow. And then he snaps his fingers, and the second dragon just disappears completely and turns into ash. Wait, what? Oh. He just can just do Whoa. that? <laughs> um, wow. And he says, well, I don't know if I should say I'm impressed or disappointed. <laughs> um, you can probably tell by now, but... There was no real danger. This was all a test to see right. how our students would respond to a Burn real... fire. And he says, um, our good actor friend can be dismissed. The figure kind of bows, and as he's, as he's bowing, he, like, winks at all of you. <laughs> and then he throws a smoke bomb and dabs and disappears. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, yeah. I like that character. I he's like it. gone. I like that. And Dr. Bones says, the three of you acted unlike everyone else. Which I do commend you for, Resolve. but your combat technique was very lacking. Mm-hmm. Okay, everyone, it's all right. We can resume the picnic. Right. Did and the crowd kind of was starts it? walking around and going back to their places. Right. And that what is how our happened? our three heroes almost kind of saved the fall picnic. Not almost really. Kind of saved. Um. It was a prank, bro. <laughs> uh, yeah, you guys did fail this encounter. Oh. Um, and because this was a flashback, this is how it happened in the universe. This is how you remember it. Yes. This is a thing that will be important to our campaign. But our campaign, it's not really going to be on the podcast. Uh-huh. But I do hope you guys liked this. Mm-hmm. I hope yes. it was thrilling. I hope it was fun. It I was hope fun. you went on a little imagination journey with us. Yes. All right. Well, I think that's it for today. This has been a very long episode. Yeah. Um, but Are you all doing any more? Or is this like the last? Uh, no, there's there's more. There's, there's more. There's a couple I more. thought y'all were going to quit when summer starts. <laughs> just, just a we bit were, more. but the corona. Right. Yeah, we, we had plans that were kind of like <laughs> yeah. coronavirus happened, so... Um, well, if you guys can't find any more people for your crappy podcast that nobody likes, then just like, call me. Okay, thanks. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I'm, I'm joking. Thanks. It's, it's okay. a good podcast. It's but we're just, podcast. we just won't put your episode out. <laughs> <laughs> just no, pun- if you're going to be uh, like that, huh? Well, that would be your loss because it's the best episode y'all have ever done. Right. <laughs> wow. Yeah. This guy is such All right. a guest, huh? Uh, uh, okay, love yeah. you guys. Again, yeah. thanks for watching. Yeah. Uh, Good night, New York. Make sure to comment. Yes. Make sure to subscribe and like. If you want to like, be part of the giveaway. Tell us who your favorite player was. Yeah. Sure. Clearly Let us know Momo. what you think. And Mo- Momo is the basic answer, so yes. don't don't say that. Right. Because <laughs> he did all the things. <laughs> uh, yeah. Thanks for listening. Yeah. We'll see you next Monday. See bye. 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 bye.